Welcome back everyone. Today is a, another episode in my Adventures Out West series. Today's episode shows some more thermal features. I take you along with me as I venture out the west and northwest entrances of Yellowstone. So that would be West Yellowstone and Gardner, Montana. I walk around the town a little bit, the Roosevelt Arch makes an appearance, and I just continue my adventure out west in Yellowstone. So if you'd like to come along with me and you know take a tour from the comfort of your own couch at home, then keep watching and uh, let's get out there and see what else there is to see in Yellowstone National Park. We're now at the Fountain Paint Pots. They have these nice trail guides that you can either donate a dollar and keep, or they ask that you return it after you're finished. This is the Fountain Paint Pots. You can see the bubbles. And someone's hat again. It's kind of like <laughs> and the labyrinth with the bog of eternal stench where it bubbles and everything. Pretty cool. Oh, that one went far. There's all bison all the way out there. A herd of them. This is the jet geyser. Let's see. It may erupt foreign eruption from fountain geyser during its active period. Jet erupts every few minutes up to 20 feet. And these are the fountain geysers. It may appear empty before an eruption. When it does erupt, it's one of the most impressive, geys impressive geysers in the park. They reach 20 to 50 feet and last for 25 minutes or more. I don't know if they have a prediction of when it will erupt. Because I'd be neat to see. Mm, it doesn't say. This is... Oh, I can feel it. Spasm geyser and Clepsidra geyser. Spasms eruptions may start with bursts up to 20 feet and then splashes about 3 feet high. So I am in West Yellowstone. I've never been into or out of the western entrance to the park, so I thought I would come here. Um, the Ravens. This town, you know, it's pretty. 
pretty much, at least this part, it seems like a tourist town. There's a lot of shops. I'm on the hunt for some place to eat, get some breakfast, and then I think I'm actually going to head to the northwest entrance of the park, check that out, and then maybe tomorrow go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We will see, but it's always neat to stop off at these places and just see what the town is like and what they have here. So let's keep checking things out. The thing that so the thing that I do like about these towns is the great old signs. We have the Dude Motel, the Roundup Motel over here. And then down the streets, there's even more. Here's this hotel. During the winter, this town is most likely booming because of the skiing. Same as with Cook City. I exited out of there two years ago and that town, I mean, it's just a ski town. Things are still open during off season for skiing, but it gets really busy during the winter. made it to the northwest entrance with the Roosevelt Arch. I've never been to this part of the park before. I've been wanting to get here and now I finally have. Oh, look at that. The side of that building. Whitehall sells everything. This is so neat. But if you can imagine, you know, coming into the park way back when and you would drive through this entrance. Just the sight of it. Created by Act of Congress, March 1st, 1872. So cool. I have to look online and see if they have which stone Teddy put down. Let me look so we can see. So this is the original cornerstone. It's more squarely finished than the other stones around it, as you can see. Um, after the de dedication, Theodore Roosevelt never returned here to Yellowstone, so he never saw the completed arch. He never visited the completed arch. I thought he laid the cornerstone. Hmm. I was wrong, I think. It's so pretty neat. So awesome piece of history. When I go back into the park, I'm going to enter through here. Because why not? Well, there's one thing I love about these old towns, or the towns that sit right outside of Yellowstone, are the old signs. There's a fly shop sign over there. Look at this bar. Then the fire came in the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything changed. Hay barn. Oh, bakery. 
You can never go wrong with a bakery. Oh, there's the Volkswagen bus. I want to get a picture of this sign. Yellowstone Victorian Inn. There's a Volkswagen truck. Oh, there it goes. That guy's living a dream. I think I have to get a picture of that sign here. Shed. They're closed. 